All right, everybody. So I'm going to explain the differences between pass by value and pass by reference. In this example, we'll swap two variables. Suppose we have two imaginary cups. I'll name the first cup X. X will contain Kool-Aid. Then we have cup Y, which contains water. I need to swap these two values. We'll need the help of a temporary variable string temp. To swap two variables, we would assign temp equal to x, x equals y, y equals temp. Let's display these variables. Standard output x, the variable x. I'll add a new line. Let's copy this, paste it. y the variable y. This should work. X now contains water, y contains Kool-Aid. Now check this out. What if we create a function to swap two variables for us? The return type will be void. I'll name this function swap. There will be two parameters. String x, string y. Let's copy this section of code, delete it, then paste it within the swap function. Then you'll need a function declaration at the top of your program. Then we will invoke this function. Swap, pass our arguments, x and y. Let's see what happens. Okay, what the heck? x still contains Kool-Aid, y still contains water. These values weren't switched within my variables x and y, even though we invoked this function. So why didn't it work? Well, that's because normally when we pass a variable to a function, we're passing by value. When we invoke this function, we're creating copies of the original values. What we have now are two copies of the variable x and y, and all we're doing is switching the two copies and not the original values. So that's pass by value. We're creating copies of the arguments. If I need to change the original values of these variables, I could instead pass by reference. A reference as in a memory address. An address in your computer's memory where a value is located. I will prefix the address of operator, which is an ampersand, to these parameter names. Then add that to your function declaration as well. Now let's see what happens. Yeah, those two variables were switched. X contains water, Y contains Kool-Aid. When we passed by value, we created copies of X and Y. With the parameters, when we use the address of operator, we're passing memory addresses to where the original X and Y variables are located, and then swapping the values. Just to reinforce this idea, let's revert to passing by value. I'm going to display the address of X and Y. Then within our swap function, let's get rid of this code. Then I will also display the addresses of X and Y. See, we have four different addresses. Our original X variable has a different memory address than the one that's within the function. Same thing goes with Y. These two addresses are different. We have two X variables and two Y variables. Originally within that swap function, we were switching the values of the X and Y copies. If we instead pass by reference, let's use that address of operator again. Well, now X and Y are referring to the same place. They have the same memory addresses. That's why the swap function worked when we passed by reference in place of pass by value. So that's the main difference between pass by value and pass by reference. You should use pass by reference as often as possible, unless you have a reason to pass by value. If you would like a copy of this code, I'll post this in the comment section down below. And well, yeah, that's the main difference between pass by value and pass by reference in C++.